Hello and welcome students. In today's lecture, we will discuss the shear force and bending moment diagram for simply supported beams. We will discuss two cases today. Simply supported beams subjected to point load and simply supported beam subjected to UDL. Let us start with the numerical. The second numerical will be very tough and first numerical is quite easy but you must concentrate on the method. Let us see. What is given in the data? In the simply supported beam, it is written over here that simply supported beam AB of span 2.5 meter. So this is the beam A to B having span length 2.5 meter is carrying two point loads as shown in figure. First point load is 2 kN while second point load is 4 kN acting at point C and point D respectively. Now take a look on the distances. Point C is at 1 meter from left side while the point D is at 1 meter from right side. So gap in between the point C and D will be 0.5 meter. You can calculate from the figure. Okay. Now we have to draw shear force and bending one diagrams for this beam. What is given data? The span is 2.5 meter. Load W1 at C is 2 kN and load W2 at B is 4 kN. So what we have to do? You must concentrate in the figure is that at point A and point B, there are two support reactions RA and RB. So we first have to calculate these two support reactions RA and RB. So let us see the method to calculate the RA and RB support reactions. Let us first of all find RA and RB. So what is the method to find the support reaction? Must remember the previous chapter support reaction of phase 1. You have to take movement at this left side point A. Starting from the opposite corner, here it is reaction RB and the movement will be anti-clockwise like this. RB is rotating in anti-clockwise direction and the total distance travelled is 2.5 meter. Remember the figure in your mind. So RB into 2.5 will be anti-clockwise movement. What is right side of the equation? Clockwise movements. Now these two forces, 4 kN and 2 kN going down, rotating up to point A. So its direction is clockwise. So 4 kN is in clockwise direction with a distance of 1.5 meter. You can calculate the distances. So 4 into 1.5. While the 2 kN is also clockwise, the distance is 1 meter. So 2 into 1. So answer is 8. 8 by 2.5 will give 3.2 kN. So it is the reaction at point B, 3.2 kN. Now how to calculate RA? The method is just simple. RA will be equal to total vertical load minus our first reaction RB. So where is the total vertical load? It is 2 kN and 4 kN. So 2 plus 4 is the total load. And vertical reaction RB is 3.2 which will be subtracted from this. So A, 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 3.2 is equal to 2.8 kN. So here are the values of RB 3.2 kN and RA 2.8 kN respectively. So RA and RB completed now. Now we have to draw shear force diagram. So how the shear force diagram will come? You can see in the figure that you just start the shear force diagram from left side now onwards. In the previous method in the cantilever beams, we are starting the shear force diagrams from the right side. So from the left side, here is the reaction 2.8 kN going up. So you just draw the vertical up line with the arbitrary scale of 2.8 meter. Okay, so this is the height 2.8 meter. Now coming on to the next point A to C, there is nothing, no load in between A to C. So A to C, the horizontal line of 2.8 meter height will remain constant. Now we are approached at point C, we are received at point C. So at point C, 2 kN vertically down load is there. So here we are standing at 2.8 meter. So from 2.8 meter going down by 2 meters like this. So now the remaining value is 0 0.8 written over here. Remaining value is 0 0.8. Okay. So this is the 0 0.8 meter line. Okay. Now from C to D, the next point, there is no load between C to D. So C to D, again, the same horizontal line of 0 0.8 meter will reach to point D. Okay. Now coming on to the point D, there is a load 4 kN vertically down. So we are standing at 0.8 meter and from 0.8 meter 
just subtract 4 downwards. So 0.8 minus 4 will give 3.2 negative value. So here it is 3.2 negative value, which is written over here 3.2 negative value. Now next point is D to B, the last point. There is no load in between D to B. So minus 3.2 line will remain constant up to point B. So this is also the minus 3.2 value. And at point B, you can see in the main figure, there is a support reaction 3.2 kN, which is going up. So from minus 3.2 line, this line, we are going up plus 3.2. So answer will become 0 at point B exactly. So this is your check. Final answer should be 0 in the case of simply supported beams. So we are starting from 0 and we are ending at 0. So this is the very simple SF diagram, shear force diagram of the simply supported beam subjected to point load. Here you can see the diagram is positive while after point D to B the diagram is negative. Now how this bending moment diagram is coming? How this bending moment diagram is coming? Let us see the calculation first. Now this is the calculation for shear force diagram. At point A, 2.8 kN up load is acting while at point C 2.8 minus 2 0 0.8 as I showed in figure at point D 0 0.8 minus 4 is 3.2 minus and FB will be minus 3.2 kN. FB should be actually 0 minus 3.2 plus 3.2 answer will be 0. So this is the CF force diagram you can just conclude this diagram you can just conclude this calculation from the previous diagram. Now coming back onto the bending moment diagram must remember that in the case of simply supported beams movement at first and last point should be zero movement at first and last point should be zero therefore movement at a and movement at b must be zero at the end point left side at the end point right side movement should be zero how we can calculate movement at c let us see in the figure now coming on to the figure movement at c we have to calculate this point movement at this point so while cal while calculating the movement at point C, you just calculate the movement at this point from either side, from left side or from right side, but only from one side. Okay. Suppose from the left side, we can imagine that from the left side of point C, only one load is acting that is 2.8 kN upwards. Upwards means positive answer. So movement at C will be positive. There is nothing in between A to C. So now taking this movement 2.8 kN up to point C, the distance travelled is 1 meter. So 2.8 is the load and 1 is the distance. So 2.8 into 1, answer will be 2.8 kN into meter. So movement at point C will be 2.8 kN into meter. You can see over here, movement at C 2.8 kN meter. Hope you are clear. Now what is at point D? Let us calculate at point D also. Same way. At point D, right side, from right side, the movement will be easy. From the right side, you can see there is a load of 3.2 kN, which is going up. So, movement is positive and the distance travelled up to point D is 1 meter again. So, 3.2 into 1, answer will be 3.2 kN into meter. You can see in this figure MD. So, here is the numerical completed successfully. By joining the points, by joining the points, you can see how the answer is coming like this by joining the point this is the 2.8 point this is 3.2 and this is our final answer so as the beam is subjected to point loads only we have to join the lines with the help of straight line no parabola when the udl comes into the picture we will draw the parabola okay so this is just the numerical number one let us go on the numerical 2 subjected to UDL. Now you can see this beam is having the span of 6 meter on which from C to B on 3 meter length UDL is acting 5 kN per meter and we have to draw those SF and BM diagrams for this simply supported beam subjected to point UDL. The remaining 3 meter length from A to C is as it is no load is acting on that. First of all I have to calculate support reactions at point A and B, RA and RB. The same method is there, take the movement at left support point A, which is starting from point B, the movement in anti-clockwise direction is RB, 
RV is the value we will calculate, not 11.25 exactly, but we will calculate the same answer. So RB into the total distance traveled will be 6 in anti-clockwise direction. So RB into 6 anti-clockwise. Okay. Remember this RB into 6 anti-clockwise. Now there is a UDL on C to B length, which will be 5 into 3, 15 kilonewton per minute, 15 kilonewton, which will act finally at the center. So from this center, the distance up to point A is 1.5 plus 3. That is 4.5 meter. So answer will be 15 into 4.5. You can see the anti-clockwise movement is RB into 6. While RB into 6 you can see like this. And UDL is 5 into 315 which will acting at the center. The distance from the center is 1.5 and 3 4.5. So answer is 67.5. So this is completed. Now RB by calculation you will get 11.25 kN and RA will be total load minus upper reaction. So 5 into 3 is the total load 15 UDL and the upper reaction is 11.25 means RB which is subtracted from 5 into 315 so RA will give 3.75 kN answer over here. So these two are the support reactions. Now how to draw SF diagram? Start from point A there is a support reaction 3.75 upwards. So 3.75 vertical line in positive direction. From A to C, there is no load. So 3.75 vertical line remains as it is. Now most important, when there is a UDL coming into the beam, you just go slant down, means inclined down. So from C to B, you can see that there is a load of 15 kN. Now you are standing at 3.75 over here, 3.75 over here. So 3.75 minus 15. Check in your Kelsey, it is minus 11.25. So from this point go incline down up to this point randomly minus 11.25. And at point B, the support reaction is again there is 11.25 upwards means plus. So minus 11.25 over here from this go 11.25 upwards. So answer will be exactly zero. So SF diagram will close. But remember this time, the SF diagram is cutting over here. A new point which is not existing in the actual beam. A new point is M. This point, this point is known as zero shear point because at this point shear force is zero. You can see from the diagram. At uh, uh, A to M, the diagram is positive. M to B, the diagram is negative. But exactly at point M, the shear force is zero. So when there is a must remember, most important statement, when the shear force is zero, the bending moment is maximum. Remember this, when the shear force is zero at any point on the beam, the bending moment is maximum. So we will calculate bending moment and it will be maximum at point M. Now let's start with the help of bending moment diagram. As per our rule, point A and point B bending moment should be zero. What is the moment at point C? So starting from the left side, moment at C will be you can see 3.75 kN is the vertical load and distance traveled is 3 meter up to point C. So movement at C will be 3.75 into 3. You can see in this diagram 3.75 into 3 which will be 11.25 kN. A 0, B 0. So three points are completed A, C and B. But now at point M the bending movement is quite difficult. For M why we are calculating the moment at M, the distance from C to M, this X distance is not available to us. Without this distance, we cannot find the values. For this distance, take these two triangles, these two triangles. These two triangles are vertically opposite triangles which are always similar. So for this similar triangles, taking the ratios, base upon base, is equal to height upon height. So base of this triangle is x. So similarly base of this triangle will be 3 minus x as per this distance. So x divided by 3 minus x is equal to corresponding heights will be 3.75 divided by 11.25. 11.25 should be positive while calculating the ratio. You can see in this figure. Okay. So 3 x upon 3.75 which is base upon height of the smaller triangle and 3 minus x upon 11.25 which is base upon height of the bigger triangle. 
So this is particular ratio which we will always take while we are getting the intersection point. So from this you can solution you can get the solution or simplification like this like this like this. So finally you will get the answer of x which is 0.75 meter. Now by getting this x we will just calculate moment at m. Now how this moment at m will complete it? So it will be like this from the left side up to point m. So from left side up to this point m and this distance is 0.75 as we have calculated. Now taking moment from the left side up to this point m up to this point m. Okay. So now from point A to M, the distance is 3 and 0 0.75, 3.75. So answer will be 3.75 into distance is also 3.75. You can see this is 3.75 and the distance is also 3.75. This is the moment of point load only. But the UDL remains to calculate right now. So this is again point M and the UDL left side to the point M is 5 M to this distance only. Okay, so 5 into this distance is 0 0.75, which is always, always acting in the center. So from the center, this distance is 0 0.75 by 2. You just calculate at your own. This is quite difficult. So 5 into 75, 0.75 by 2. So answer will be 12.66 kilonewton into meter. So you just calculate this bending moment precisely. You will get the answer of 12.66 kilonewton into meter. You can start from the right side also. You just have to practice these numericals which is very very tough. So you will get the final answer like this. Students, you just practice this some two or three times from my video lectures, from these values, from taking snapshots to revising the videos like that. You must understand this numerical because the further upcoming numericals are very very tough based on this. So you just practice this cell. This at your own and we will meet in the next lecture with some more complicated examples till then goodbye students thank you very much